Hi, I'm Dr. Melissa West, host of Namaste Yoga, real yoga for real people. Original Strength and I have been collaborating on some movement breaks, and I'm here to share with you some easy ways to incorporate some of Original Strength's favorite movements into your yoga routine. So one thing that Tim and everybody at Original Strength are passionate about is breathing. And as a yoga teacher, you can imagine that I'm pretty passionate about breathing too. In their book, Original Strength, Tim Anderson and Jeff Newpert tell us that breath is vital to regaining our original strength. They say that breath is the most overlooked, undervalued, and critical reflex that you possess. Babies pull their breath right down into their diaphragm, strengthening their core. And as adults, we can relearn this natural reflex that we had as babies to breathe right down into our bellies. So breathing properly, we strengthen our core and we become healthy and resilient. So there are many benefits to diaphragmatic breathing or belly breathing. This kind of breathing massages all your internal organs and then it aids in your digestion. And diaphragmatic breathing works with your pelvic floor to create a reflexive stable core as your diaphragm and pelvic floor work together to form a box of strength at your center. So I was curious if there was a relationship between the daily five and diaphragmatic breathing. In other words, if we were to do one of the daily five, would our diaphragmatic breathing be affected in a positive way? So what I decided to do was put it to the test in my own yoga practice. Well, what I found, I really loved what I found when I put it to the test in my practice. And what I'm gonna do is today, I'm gonna show you how to incorporate one of my favorite ways to crawl in yoga. And it's also a way to cross the midline in yoga. There's loads of midline crossing in yoga. And it's a yoga pose called cow's face pose or gomuk hasan. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start first by checking in with our breathing when we're lying on our back with our knees bent and our feet flat on the floor. And then we're gonna do this crawling that also incorporates crossing the midline. And then we're gonna check in with our breathing again. So if you have a cushion or a block, it would probably be good because if you have tight hips, this pose can be a little tricky. So um, I would encourage you to get something that you can sit on to at the end of the crawling. Okay, so you're gonna lie down on your back with your knees bent and your feet flat on the floor. This is just to check in with our breath first. So place your hands in your belly. Breathe in through your nose and draw your breath down to your belly. No need to force it in any way. And feel your breath move into your belly. And just notice how much your hands move and your breath moves into your belly here. Just make a mental note of that. Okay, and then you can roll to your side. And I'm gonna show you one of my favorite ways of crawling. And it's also a great way to come into Gomukhasan or cow's face pose. So I can get you to come all the way to the back of your, your mat or you know what, it probably doesn't matter where you start as much as it matters where I start here. And you're going to, this is a great one for hip mobility because the way you're gonna crawl here is you're gonna cross your leg in front and then you're gonna cross your other leg in front. So it, this crawling incorporates a midline crossing and crawling. And then when you get to the top of your, or to the place where you're gonna stop, you're gonna sit back. Now, if you can't sit all the way back, that's why you're gonna have your prop, which <laughs> this is our prop. This is your block or your cushion. So if you can't sit all the way down, then you're gonna sit on something like a log. And that will just make it easier on your hips if your hips are too tight. Okay, and then Gomukhasan, you 
So I sat with my left leg on top of my right leg. So there's a great cross, crossing the midline pattern. And then you bring your right arm up and you hook your left arm underneath. Another cross pattern. So there's, you've got your cow's face pose. So that's one of my favorite ways of crawling, incorporating crawling into a yoga pose. And so now we're gonna check in and see. I also recognize it's not crawling. Um, it doesn't necessarily work as crawling because crawling you would take opposite arm, opposite leg, and this one kind of works same arm, same leg. But I think it kind of works because you've got so many midline crossings happening. So I'm kind of slipping it under there in the wire. <laughs> Okay, so let's check in and see if it affects your diaphragmatic breathing. I just think it's a cool way to incorporate crawling into a yoga pose. It's easier to come into Gomukhasan, I think, when you do it for sure. Okay, I'm going to roll this log out of the way. Check in with your breathing again. Lying on your back, hands on your belly. And breathe in through your nose, draw your breath down into your belly. Notice if there's been any shift in your breathing. So for me, I notice that my belly is more free to move in uh, up and down in my hands. So I would love to hear from you in the comments how you notice your breath shifted from doing the crawling. And that's just, the benefits of crawling are that it strengthens your core, it increases your proprioception in your hands and your feet, and it sets the foundation for good uh, gait in, in walking and running. So thank you so much for walking, walking. I appreciate that you walk too. <laughs> Thank you for watching though. <laughs> and I really appreciate you leaving your comments about how your breath changed before and after. I'm really curious to hear about that. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to Original Strengths channel. Tim puts out amazing videos. I love watching his movement breaks. They're awesome. And if you like this video, come on over to my channel. I put out free videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Monday, I'll put out a vlog on my Living Your Yoga channel. Wednesday I put out more tutorial style videos on my Living Your Yoga channel and Friday I put out a free one hour yoga video on my Namaste Yoga channel so I'd love to meet you there as well. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed the movement break.